Hey everyone, Aaron here with a quick update video. Markets in June in most major investable markets were actually strongly negative, followed by a very strongly positive July. The S&P 500, an index I often talk about, the 500 largest companies in the US, very commonly tracked, very commonly invested in. So that market was down 7.5% in June, followed by a sharp 8% gain in July. Had you held it from beginning to end, so beginning of June all the way to the end of July, you would have barely seen your investments move. And we saw similar types of sharp downs followed by sharp ups in most major markets. I'll have a written piece that I'll share in the comments below as well. So why do I talk about these month to month returns when I often encourage all of you or all my clients to focus on the long-term approach? Well, the long-term investment strategy only makes sense if you hold it for the full long-term. What can happen is the news, watching our portfolio too often, it can scare us and, and cause us to make bad choices. We had a lot of questions from clients in June about what was happening as they were watching their portfolios continue to tick down because the beginning of the year was still negative as well. And so we got a lot of questions around, should I maybe stop contributing? Is now a good time to go to cash because it might get worse? I don't really know what's next. And so had you sold in June, you would have missed all of that 8% gain that we had talked about for the US market. So again, the point is, time in the market, not timing the market. To get those big positive returns, we sometimes have to endure some of those strong negative returns. With that being said, as always, we do encourage all of you, focus on the long term. If there's anything we can do to help out, or if you do have a question about what's going on, please feel free to let us know.